Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity. It is session 35. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 28th of October 2019. Here are the players. Hello, I'm Nico. And I am Payne. <laughs> and I am also Zora. Yeah, Zora. Hello, I am Alex, and I am Despair. <laughs> and I am also Mix 5, the Android Mechanic. Up, crackers. Uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I am Colin. Um, oh, I'm also in pain. Uh, so good luck. You're going to save you. Good luck with that, guys. And I am um, become death destroyer of worlds. Uh, no, I, I am. I am playing Michael. Uh, you know, you know, you know the deal. You know. It is like her season after all. Yeah. I'm always spooky. Gigabyte. Why is he saying Gigabyte? <laughs> I am become Gigabyte! Destroyer of systems! Yep. <laughs> I, I knew. Know. I knew you'd get that, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> reboot! My... Ah, reboot! <laughs> um, yeah, so shout out to all the reboot fans. Um, I no. come from the net. <laughs> Oh. Through peoples and systems to, to this me. place. Main Starfinder, <laughs> the fragments of eternity. Hi, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Zig. Um, Zig, yes. Yep, mystical the space, space rat, rat blah, blah, blah. from space, mystical space rat. Uh, that's really it. That's all he's got. And he's he's happy, sad, mostly sad, but kind of happy sometimes. Gee. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sorry, I got so excited about the reboot that my brain just had any to any chance, honestly, any any excuse and chance to be excited about uh. reboot, yes please. Um when Bob went face to face to face to face with hexadecimal, which is the best line. His chances of survival went from small to infinitesimal. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> anyway, uh. so me and Callum are now just gonna run the reboot game. Um so gone. we'll get back to you. Okay, goodbye. I am pain. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, what do you remember from last time? Oh, last time was really good. Last good. time was, was... was Last time I um, had a meeting with... Um, oh, shit, what's the name <laughs> You should keep notes, Nico. <laughs> I should. Especially given this seems to be like a Vesk heavy arc. Mm, I really should. I should. I'm fine with... I'm sure... I'm fine with Double Guess, right? Good I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's he's a layer. He's a layer person. I am become Demogesh. Grave Epoch and High Layer. <laughs> uh, what, what is her name? Help me here, Ryan. Sorry. Event Horizon? I know what event, I know the Event right. Horizon part. Matva? I just remember. Matva. Varalanellis. Or Nestless. Nestless. Because Nestless. why do I pick these names? Yeah. Um, yeah. But right, Matva. Matva, Event Horizon, Varala, Nestless. <laughs> Varala, ne ne Varala, Nestless. <laughs> Nestless. <laughs> My god. Uh, it's so bad. Um, might or might not have the kill myself a wee Demogash. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to kill myself a wee Demogash. I got so cash. Yeah. So cash. There we go. There's her name there. Under. Destroyer of Systems. Yeah. All good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that was a thing. So you got a wee, uh, a wee off the books suggested mission. Um, mm. You know, one of these, pull the right trigger if you're cool with this, pull the left trigger if you're not so cool with this. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. Kind of cool, yeah. Mm. I always so. wanted to kill a legend. <laughs> This is it. I mean, this is how legends are made, right? You, you kill other legends on the way. <laughs> I hear voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. Why Legend you, killer. Why, you, why do you demonetize all my videos, Phyllis. Colin? Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> so, so, anyway. Um, what else happened? What does a uh, Lyco remember from last time? 
Um, so, uh, yeah, we started, well, I can't really remember the exact ordering, but I was uh, talking to Furler um, mm -hmm. after she turned up at the end of the previous session. Um, and finding the rest of the crew absent from the hidey hole, hide out, mm -hmm. legitimate business. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, or I rather, because Zig happened to already sort of be wandering uh, helpfully in that direction. <laughs> yeah, weirdly, it all just worked out, right? Uh, God, it's almost like there's someone controlling it. Uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, having determined that, you know, people weren't there, I went looking, following like conversation on um, on comms to determine what exactly was going on and blah, blah, blah. And it was, yeah, and of course, Zig didn't have comms. And, uh, um, and then I went and found them and they were under a cafe. Yeah. Which yeah. was Alice's fault for putting a cafe on. <laughs> it, it was inopportune. Yeah. She's a, a wily one. Um, Next five. What's your yes. recollection of last time? I'm in a hole. <laughs> and not a car hole for a change? Nah. No. Uh, an actual hole. I was about to say a collapsed hole. I thought, no. No. <laughs> anyway. No. Don't worry. I survive. I always do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll survive. I always do. I am transitioning to Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So good. I mean, yeah, we're we're getting there. Um I think Alice is getting more Zephoid. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I have been in worse situations. It's That's fine. true. I mean you did take a wee bit of crushing from the diner falling on you damage, I believe. Which was less yeah. than ideal. But but it was mostly on Alice, so that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Indeed. She did really tank for you last time, quite frankly. Yeah. In all senses yeah. of the word. So, yeah. Uh, Zig? Um, Zig made friends with the ewes. Mm. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. um, uh, came across Dot's Diner, which was in ruins <laughs> again. Um, yep. <laughs> Cecil nowhere to be found. Cecil nowhere to... Cecil. Uh, it is Cecil. Cecil. Um, yeah, I uh, came across the diner. It was it collapsed. Kind of didn't want to go there, but the user was insistent, and I didn't want to leave it by itself. So yeah, it started munching away and kind of clearing path, and eventually kind of dug down and found some folk. Yeah, some you very did. familiar folk. You did find some people, that's right. Some people yeah. before you found the people you were familiar with, in fact. Do you remember? Ah. Uh, black, black glass everywhere. Oh, fuck yeah. Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I did forget about that. Oh, god damn it. Yep. Black um, glass. Yes, I forgot about that. That was not pretty. Yeah. Although, if you shine the light on it, it would be quite shiny, I guess. So. Yeah, I believe it was very pretty patterns described last time about yeah, when the light yeah. hits it. Yeah, very pretty. If very pretty. shattered. Yeah. Yes. Um, but then, yes, and then find the people that I was subsequently looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember how it ended? We all high fived in the sunset. I mean, um, no. Actually, so uh, we went. Yeah. So there, there was almost a sunset. So you went to heal Alice. Oh yes, I healed Alice. That's right. I forgot about that as well. And you had a moment. And that is actually in my notes, but my notes are over there. Um. I kind of boxed myself in. Um, yeah, went into another little weird mystical space and saw Alice and was like, oh, heck. <laughs> and um, she was like, oh, hey. And then she woke up and it was good. I hope. I mean... I potentially healed Alice. You saw a big orange warm 
light while standing on this weird plane of water. You and Alice were standing there. She was like, hey. And you were like, hey, what's up? And then there was a cracking sound as something crawled out of the orange light as if it was cracking its way through it. And Ooh, then I feel to write that down. Alice woke up with a gasping for air. And that's where that's we cut. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, I will write that down now. I forgot. To... That or that's what I had in my head, but I never said it out loud. Oh, so maybe that's possible it's too. It's not but... possible. That's what happened. Um, <laughs> <laughs> false hope. Um, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> that not for Jurassic Park, but other. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> Sam, you're a great actor. If you want to play with us, let us know. We'll have uh, again. Yeah. Um, on that note, actually, smash like really buttons, yeah. ding bells, etc. Yeah, Event Horizon's a great movie. Um, it really is. Very I good. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, a bit cheesy, but really good. Also kind of scary yeah. when you're younger and you're watching it way younger than you should and you're like, wow, this is... It's interesting that they... It did affect me. <laughs> they felt the need to um, tone down the, the you know, the sort of hell scene as it were. Because mm. um, what, what they show obviously isn't that disconcerting, but like apparently the original version was just like <laughs> we can't show audiences this bad. Yeah. I don't know if it would it would stand out as that bad. It'd be a twelve A today, probably. So yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, not to be too BBFC political. Um, mm. I think we've done a nice wee catch up then. So let's talk about goals. 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 New and stands. We can meet the party and inform them about the visc. Yes. Oh, okay. Can someone remind me of what mine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I definitely can. Uh, it is on that link. I mean, it's probably fairly accurate, to be honest. Still. Yeah, I understand it. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's... That's there, fine. Would you like to read it out for the audience at home that don't have access to this page? Um... <laughs> I have to look at it again to get the wording. Yeah. Assist for alert in preventing Hamani from getting into Drow Vault. Yeah. And that's a lot because better worded than what was it? Like, I can't even remember the, the bastardization of it you had the last time. I'd written something silly. Something about um, like humans. The. <laughs> Human. <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, smile again. Sorry. <laughs> smile. Uh, yeah. What about Unix 5? So good. Yep. I, I was unable to progress towards my goal last time. Good, good. And Zig. Discover War Radiant Supreme meant by Awoken. Mm. Still happy with that? I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's going to pop up sooner rather than later. Yeah, cool. I'm happy with those goals. Um, right. It was quick. That's probably the quickest goal chat we've ever had, I think. On it! We're like a... Yeah, uh, one of those. Yeah, well, one of Smart. those. Mm. Yeah! Smack them up. So, we open on a lit kind of void within the rubble and debris of the diner collapsed on top of most of our party. And we have Alice gasping for breath and she kind of regains consciousness and she kind of just rests her head back down kind of looks at everyone and just says ow you okay? and she kind of looks over at you and she's I think like Zig's face is very close to Alice's face I think she probably just leans forward and kisses the tip of your nose and just kind of coil back and sort of like, ah, germs. Oh, <laughs> wow. Android cootie. Sorry, Nick. Cootie? Cooties, surely. 
Um, <laughs> cookies. Co- 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 cooties. Co- it's, it's, you pluralise it, right? You wouldn't ever say cooties. Cooties. Cooties sounds like it should be in something I said else. cooties. Cooties, mate. Well, you didn't enunciate very well. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, Those in the comments, um, if you wish to have this debate in comments, carry on. Yep. Um, we'll, I, no. we'll forget uh, it by next time. Game. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well. Well, well, well. So, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I have soft S's. So yeah, like <laughs> you're still in a collapsing diner, I guess. What's the plan? Can you get us out of here before continuing this zig? Uh, yeah, I think you'd look at the ooze. Um, I think the ooze has already started, like, leaving. Leaving? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I, I'd say, right, mm, yes, and then just start making sure everyone can get up and we'll crawl out behind the ooze. Yeah, and I think there's, like, a pile of hard hats. Like, at the start of the tunnel, the ooze has already worked its way down. <laughs> Hard hat, yes. <laughs> one for you. <laughs> I think I think Zig would like take like the mentality of take one, pass it on. Except he doesn't need to take one, obviously. So he's just gonna pass, keep passing them behind him. I don't actually think. Is our group? What? Sorry. Is the ooze our group? Ourselves a group. I mean, it's. It's probably more like mm. rocket with its utility, right? But then, I mean, right, fair enough. But I mean, I don't know. It's more like R two D two at the moment, I'd say. I um, don't know. I'm getting the gritty sass. I don't know. <laughs> sassy about this as well. Trying to say R two D two wasn't sassy. Wow. Yeah, he's very R two. He's very sassy. <laughs> he's very R two. See. I would give the R two. I would give the R two. Sure. Okay, so carry on. Sorry. That's okay. As I got drinking, my my throat is also sore from laugh. Um, <coughs> probably all the singing I did at that gig with Colin. It was good fun. It was good fun. Um, so, yeah, the glory hammer for those people asking. Um, the oh, it would have been so good. Oh, it was glory hammer beast in black and windrose, uh, and they did sing diggy uh, diggy hole and holy fuck, it was so good. Ah, oh, anyway, um, yeah. So Alice goes to move. And you hear like, the creak and like the armor. And she kind of looks at back down and she's like, Can maybe somebody help me out? Um, how heavy is she now? Not that heavy? I mean, you can probably drag her if like you were next to it because she is in like power armor now, remember? Mm. I'm pretty sure that power armor is oh. probably quite bulky. Yeah, yeah, she's just more svelte looking, aesthetically, <laughs> rather than more of like a lift, a lifting, lifting, uh, a lifting unit. She's not the thing that Ripley gets and no. says, "Get away from her, you bitch." No, so it's not like an exosuit. It is more like power armor. In fact, did you share a picture of it? You did, didn't you? Let's see, copy link, paste link, boom. So it's the one in the middle, right? Right. So it's kind of some weird spellcasters. Just yeah, that's some right. weird tau mix between tau and doom and Iron Man. Does it does that actually look like a Marvel cosmic villain? Yeah, really or is, or yeah. a DC monitor or something. Um, yeah. Right, yeah, it's it's reasonably bulky. The three of them okay. are the, the well, Celestials. Let's face it. So, um, I will I will offer uh, my assistance. Um, but shoot, well. Who's who's got better strength? Because it'll be it'll be you, right? Next. In my army, yeah. Yeah. So I suppose I w- what what do I have to do to offer the bonus for assisting? Then how does that work again? I, mean, I don't remember. Just, just a plus ten. I also, 10 you plus. can just say you're both helping to get her out, and I'm good with that. I don't think. Oh, you're okay. To fuss with it. No, 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 for rolls. No, no, not yet. We're good. We're good. Just drag her around. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's a DC ten for assist. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is yeah. something as easy as that. Like it is like a DC ten just to give a help, and I think That's it is a plus two if you get. It's a plus two, is it? I think yeah. so. But now we're good for that. We don't need to work, worry about that. Um, because the choice is: do I let you fuck up so badly the place just collapses on you and make, make new characters? Like so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I should let you go. <laughs> Alice almost TPKs every day. Um, I think we all knew it was coming. 
Um, just made it happy, thirty. Happy, happy, all right, right. <laughs> I mean, no, you you die of grief. That's a Vesk thing, by the way. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my whole squad's dead. Now. Like, it's like fuck. <laughs> yeah, your health is tied to your squad somehow. I don't know. Space <laughs> physics. Um, something about a piece piece of paper folded in half, and you push a pencil through it. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Sandil. Um, yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> like if you put if you fold a piece of paper, right, and you put a pencil through it, then all is closer together, and that's how they can have babies, even though none of them are male. Yep. <laughs> in hell. So. <laughs> Sorry. Meanwhile, back in the scene. So you take some time to carefully drag out Alice. Um, and obviously, like Zig and the U's are outside. Um, quite a lot of um, like kind of security drones have a, like appeared. There is um, what looks like construction drones as well that have appeared. Um, there is no what you would call organic police presence here yet. Uh, but if MD thing. wants to do a perception check, I'll give Zig the first opportunity if you wanted to oh, have looked around, yeah. or would you be busy trying to get them out of the hole? Actually, I think he would be like definitely more focused on making sure everyone gets out. Um, okay. He's kind of got med kit hat on just now. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. Lyco, when you get out... Sorry, um, party. Yeah? Uh, I think you might be the first one out, because I think we've probably got you backing up through the tunnel because it'd probably be easier for you to go out first kind of dragging Alice while we have Nyx trying to lift her to try and make okay, it easier yeah, from like the bottom sense. end of it um, in case she trails on um, things or snags on but things but Michael being a clever bugger wouldn't reverse he would hold from you know yeah you, you could like you'd have her feet if you wanted um, or whatever no, no, I'd, I would I would like you know su- support whichever end but I would do it facing forward with my arms behind my back that's right I mean like you'd have like the feet like under yeah. your arms so and then, then you'd like kind of like walk out you gotta keep your eyes ahead yep yep and then yeah so when you make it out you can get a bit perception check if you wish or if you're wanting to focus on something else in the meantime you can do no, so I don't think I'd be per- you know, what am I going to be focusing on? I'm going to be keeping my eyes ahead and looking out. Mm-hmm. So, Perceptioni. Oh, that's literally the worst I can possibly do. So, you... Isn't that? Yeah. Yeah. So you spot something off in the distance. Remember, we don't do crit fails and crit successes, though, one. It's still bad. <laughs> it is still bad. It, it, you're right. But... It couldn't be worse. It could be. I could have put negative modifiers on it. Um, okay, yeah, fair point. So, we're okay. We're We're okay. You don't... You don't notice the giant Velociraptor mm. coming towards you. Um, I don't notice it because Velociraptors are normally small and that's what confused me. And it's so big and you're like, that can possibly be a Velociraptor. Um, mm. Yours are level 7, right? Yes. Probably. No, we're level 3. It depends, um. what, it depends why you're asking. <laughs> yeah, so I think when you get out of the, the tunnel you turn around, you hear like sirens and you notice the the drones that have arrived essentially um, there's no doubt that you're under surveillance already right, so there's no doubt about that Zig definitely under surveillance um, like <laughs> half of Alice by the time Alice and Nyx get out of the hole oh, you've looked up, you can spot the surveillance drones and the, the lights kind of pinned all over the debris, the construction drones like hovering over it, looking to see what they can do to start this. The kind of holographic, you know, equivalent of police tape coordinating, like cordon off the area. And you can just spot a break in the holographic barrier as the ooze is just leaving. And that's what that's what draws your attention. Okay. And it's just like the kind of the break in the barrier and it reforms and you can tell like the ooze is just drifting off. He's sleeping. (laughs) 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 Just a Z's falling out of it. (laughs) That's quite a cool visual. Um, Yeah, so we're... uh, uh. Yeah, and then then you help Nyx get out of the the tunnel. Uh, And Dallas obviously is kind of still lying. Kind of of immobilised. I 
I think in this little bit of lighting as well, you can see that her armor has taken quite a beam. Um, right, I'm going to try and do the voice, uh, and it might not work because I'm going to throw it. I was going to say, that's a, um, that's a risk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, okay, well. <clears throat> so, uh, we should, uh, we should probably... We should probably head somewhere other than the uh, the safe house because jesters around. All the jesters that are around nod. Yeah, the jesters <laughs> are around. Uh, your little um, day out seems to have brought some attention. Mm. Yeah, next you're out by this point as well. Yeah. I'm gonna have a perception check, please. Uh, where is my perception? Where's my perception? <laughs> That's a bad start. <laughs> Where's my perception? Yay, uh, open with that. Cool. Um, there is a Vesk troop transport approaching. <laughs> oh, heck. As in, like, a hover truck, not the drop pod. Are they policing this place now? Like a. I could not understand what you were saying there, so. <laughs> uh, I said, are they policing this place now? Well. Not officially, but. Who's gonna stop? So, I think. Hey. Sorry, um, Nix, you've probably got enough savvy to work out that. If you wanted to try and not have a Vesk conversation, you might want to leave now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Has Lyco got somewhere for us to head? Lyco does. Um, <laughs> well, I don't think we can really. Can, we can't go go to the stewards, can we? It's up to, I mean, do you want to? Um, I, would like, I would like to report an explosion. <laughs> Okay, out of character. I have no idea what the best strategy is here, but... Um... um scoot. Scoot. <laughs> just scoot. <laughs> Somewhere. Just go. Let's just go. <laughs> I don't think we should go directly to the base, because I think just drawing attention to it yeah, it's probably uh, bad. I love that, that you turn back up at the base, dragging Alice in up the ramp, and then just all these police drones and Vesk approach and escape. It's like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> <laughs> like, you left for like 20 minutes ago, or whatever it was, half an hour ago or some shit. We could, um. We could calm Furler, um. I'm not saying this in character because I think this should all just be stuff that would occur to us and don't want to waste in character time stating things that we should all think of probably. Like, mm -hmm. we could calm Furler and meet her elsewhere. Mm. That's something you definitely could do. So yeah, you do have options, right? So stay and face the music. Be that the versus police force or the actual Vesk that seemed to be approaching. Um, hide and try and like navigate your way back to the safe house um, like a long way to try and like dodge all the surveillance dot 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 <laughs> or uh, as Nick said report it to the stewards straight away you have, connect you have steward connections obviously the stewards don't specifically police versus versus yeah. police versus but the stewards police space so mm -hmm. there is a bit of overlap there and the Vesk seems to police everything too so, you have yes. that, because you know Shakos and you know Babak personally, right? So, you have two points of contact within the stewards directly. Yeah. You're also, you've got a wee bit of sway with Babak, considering that you're going to be getting him intel, right? So, you know, if you had things to feed him, maybe he'd be able to feed you back. Um, trying to think what else you've got. You could just head straight there, you could call him SK. You could see if mm -hmm. SK could help out in some way, if you can think of something you could ask of her she might be able to respond, maybe, but then if anything gets her in the public eye, maybe not. How about we just try and evade them, meet her up at a third place, 
and go from there to the vault. That seems wise to me. Remember, you have a ship hangar you pay for. That's oh weird. shit, these idiots got a ship hangar and we don't have a ship, didn't they? Well, <laughs> well the 11th hour is stored there. What 11th hour? Aren't we getting that replaced? I'm we recovered it. The 11th we're hour recovered. is... God, we yeah, we need idiots they? that we blew up. It's technically <laughs> not replaced. <laughs> You're gonna get it replaced, aren't you? You were talking to her about it. I mean... Doesn't have to be replaced. Like, like Ryan says, the money's already spent to get repaired and shit. Yeah. Well, to, st to store it, we could keep both, I suppose. It is. It has been paid for storage. You have not paid to repair it, Nico. Let's just be very open about this now. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. I know, but <laughs> yeah, right. Paid to repair it. If I agree to that, that's something you pull up twenty sessions from now. Going, remember that time in session thirty-five, Ryan, when you said we could, you know, it was already paid for. I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't remember that. Also, who are you? I mean, I mean, am I broke again? I can't remember. Did we not get money for the thing? I mean, yeah, maybe. can't remember, actually. It's just the money that I got for the thing. Please tell me I'll do that if I didn't get the thing. I feel like it's your, <laughs> I feel like it's your fault if you didn't. And obviously, <laughs> if, if we had yeah, like a I live like chat it. system, they could go and look at all the old recordings and tell us, but we don't. Because we're not super famous. Smash that like anyway. button. I mean, my view is the th third place, meet up, go to the bloody, did you want to call it, the vault? Who's yeah, like, it's not a bad plan because you could easily tell, like for example, let's say you wanted to use the hangar, right? You could easily head to the hangar. Again though, if you roll badly on trying to subterfuge your way there, then maybe that gets that highlighted and maybe that leads yeah. back to you guys. But these are all ifs, right? But that is an option. You mm. could say... Alright, SK, change your plan. Can you meet us at these coordinates? Etc. That is a thing you could do mm. if that was the best option. Or maybe just pick a random direction as Zig seems to want to and run. Shall we just run? I, I think, think we just run away. Let's just go. Just run. Okay. Yeah. We, can, we, can, we can deal with the consequences <laughs> later. Who wants to, just before this takes place then, roll the culture check I want to excuse myself into? I'm pretty cultural. Cool. I'm, I'm very cultural too. Cool. Zig would get a bonus. Oh, a culture. Zig would get a bonus to this. Um, but whether or not that makes him more cultured up. than anybody else, I don't know. Um, my culture is 12 for anyone who's. Things 14, bitch. No, you can have it. But then Mine, you get a bonus. Mine is also 14. So it doesn't actually matter because the bonus is a plus two. Oh, there we go. It doesn't matter who does it. Oh, just roll it. All right, cool. Mm. Oh no, Bush. I'm not sure this works on my laptop. Does it work? It's not bad. It works. Yeah, that's not bad. Twenty-eight. So, so remember when you canvassed this place, um, and you know, it was everywhere. Like you were trying to like put posters everywhere. Remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and there was surveillance everywhere. That's probably connected yeah. to those police drones. So, oh, yeah. just running might not work. What if we run really fast? Like, I mean, how fast are we talking? Because I know how fast Zora can eventually move. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, if not, if running away isn't going to work, then we're not going to be able to casually walk away because we're going to have. Just as good surveillance, regardless of what speed we're leaving. Um, Leave a victim. Oh my I, god, that's an explosion! I am the victim. Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, 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 oh my god, there was an explosion that must have been a terrorist attack. I mean, like, uh, Alice. Is that how many terrorist? Were in, the, in the place? Uh, <laughs> yeah, there was like. A handful of people, like five. How or something? dead are they all? I mean, nobody else has come out. Uh, Should we stop and help them not be dead then? You could try. I'm t I really don't know what to do. I'm gonna turn back and start helping pull out all these bodies. So you know what? That is a good way we to We need feel medical innocence. attention! Yeah, I mean. Or also just have moral concerns. It's for... half proof, right? I love that the android <laughs> came up with this plan. Yeah. I have no. I, like, you know. 
<laughs> it's not that I could entirely doesn't give a shit, but he's written these people off. They're pancakes now, right? As far I mean, as he's concerned. The thing is, though, nobody else has made any noise. And <laughs> there is, you know, the location of one body. Right. Uh -huh, I know, but I don't really want the women from um, <laughs> the band that I can't remember the name of that I keep on wanting to compare her to, and I just, um, you know. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's the thing you uh, Anyway. Emma O. Narakas. I'm going to go and start pulling bodies out. Um, might as well help. Um, or attempt to help. After a moment or two of... Well, maybe not a moment or two. I don't think we have that kind of time. I, I, just immediately after you guys then, I will, I will follow. Just sort of seeing what you're doing and then thinking... Actually, that's that's great. Let let's feign concern. <laughs> let's, let's look like a, like we're helping. Um, so I like the idea um, that maybe when you like Nick's okay. points out, obviously the vest, you maybe like instinctively go for your comb on like your wrist, and then you think as like Ow. Zig and Nick move into like the debris, you then turn and look at them and be like, "That's a better idea for now." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Let's go over that. Um, and then we have that shot of the ooze still slowly just making its way through the plaza kind of square. Just just being a ooze. <laughs> um, just oozing about. No one's yep. gonna rest in ooze. I mean, they I mean, could probably. try. How would you feel if a five foot cube just decided to mosey on by? Like, I think you just let it, right? So, <laughs> yeah. I'm not stopping it. Mm -hmm. And then that is above my pay grade. <laughs> it actually originally was your pay grade. Um, <laughs> way back now, in it is above one. my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, pay grade has dropped considerably over <laughs> the course of this campaign. To be fair, your beloved captain did sell you short of a moon, so <laughs> these things happen. Don't worry, we, we got a revenge on her. <laughs> yeah, with a newfound terrorist Alice. Um, yeah, so Alice is um, left alone, as you all leave her on the floor, and she looks up, and then she's like, I really hurt, by the way. Just, she says openly, as you all kind of head towards the debris. Um, do you focus on <laughs> excavating, or do you <laughs> respond? Um, I sh I'll shout over my shoulder. <laughs> Look like a casualty. <laughs> it's funny, because she has a casualty. She kind of um, <clears throat> tries to, like, finger gun, but she only gets, like, her hand, like, up onto her chest, and she goes, Okay. I feel like Zig would stop and go back. Okay. And try and see if there's anything he can do to at least help. Such as? Oh, a nice kid. Such as being encouraging, like, okay. <laughs> where, where does it hurt? <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> and if you say, like, yeah, where does it hurt? I also, like, how much of me can you see? Most of you? That's the bit that hurts. Oh god, okay. Um. Hmm. It'll be okay. And he pats her on the shoulder. I don't know. Like, I don't think she'll win since she's in armor, right? I don't think Zig Pang would actually have much of an impact. I don't think Zig has an extremely forceful pat. <laughs> Zig Hulk, so, is a giant <laughs> rat. <Boom. laughs> Crushes it. Um. But yeah, so, do you just want to give me some athletic checks, the boys that are um, doing the... You can do individual ones, I don't mind. Um, oh, sure. That's pretty... Cool. And then... Um, yeah, I think... Nix, you're probably still a bit beat up, which is why yours isn't so uh, efficient as... Yep. You know, because you did take a chunk of damage. Um, and yeah, like, oh, um, you dig through quite a bit, to the point where... I don't know, maybe Nick told you where people were sitting? Maybe? Maybe he didn't. Who knows? Um, to try and gauge where you would want to be searching. And, um, yeah, you're you're not finding anyone. Literally the only remains seem to be the black shards of glass. When you say the only remains seem to be the black shards of glass, do you mean that 
they all seem to be that one specific body located in that one specific area. It seems like there are no people. Like you, you look at like the like crushed parts of the, you know, diner, um, and like you can see like burnt, like plasma burnt, um, like leather where it would have been the the seating and such. Uh, there, it looks like nobody was sitting there, but obviously okay. that's hard to tell. There's just no plasma burnt remains. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it just, as I said, the only remnants of anyone having been in the diner is the spot you pulled them to out of, and whatever's left of them at all. So, um, I suppose not finding anyone, I would kind of, how close by, presumably, they can't be too far away, really, I'm, I'm assuming next is sort of just... Yeah, it used to have headed in further, um... I like mm. used to around the tunnel. Remember, the tunnel is a good maybe yeah. 15 feet in. And uh, yeah, like you're probably like ducked under with whatever light sources you're using because remember that session? <laughs> um, I do. Yeah. <laughs> session to the darkness that was not so dark. Um, <laughs> God, night vision. But yeah, so you two are probably, like, you could probably talk to each other relatively quietly. Like, you don't need to whisper, but you could have a a relatively quiet chat without MD outside hearing, because remember, there's a lot of noise outside. Alarms blaring and such. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, say something, uh, well, uh, you know, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking around because I don't really want to explain. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll say, I'll, uh, not seeing, not seeing any bodies. Are you sure there are people here? There were a few. They froze when Emma came in. It's possible she did something else with them. Or they were an illusion. That too. I guess that begs the question why she would set this up in the first place. Yeah, because that uh, would imply. Yeah. Let's talk about that for a wee second as well. Like, Can I think, from, guess? So, from Nix's point of view, right? You and Alice came up with a plan. Let's go hack the place. Let's do it remotely. Blah blah blah. You went to the diner. We're in the diner. People were having like coffee poured into things. Remember, everybody stopped. The coffee seemed to pour over the cups and stuff. And then outside, things seemed to move normally. People came in. People left. You were there for maybe what? 15, 20 minutes or whatever, how lo however long you were actually at the cafe. Um, so... Probably not illusions. Yeah, like, whether or not Nyx believes it would be that premeditated, I don't know. Mm. It depends how para Nyx has become in that moment when a diner fell on him. I mean, I don't think he believes it's that premeditated. I don't think we're high enough to be on their radar. Mm -hmm. Um, can we drag out the remains of M.O.? Yeah, if you want to head that way, like while Lyco's maybe digging through yeah. all the kind of areas you've pointed out as he's doing his thing, maybe you could head over to her, yeah? And partially to check how real her body seems. Mm -hmm. So, can you give me another athletics check for me and we'll see how well you do at that? Better. Yeah, you just seem to be more motivated by one. Um, to do that because it's kind of like a, do I really want to do this mm. so yep you is this already coded and augmented by your armor this is uh, yeah it's got the boost from my strength being up but then it's got a minus three because it's yep. uh, athletics has penalties so like you start to like move things out of the way um, obviously considering she seems to be the focal point of the uh, disaster um, if we give Alice that grace, um, mm. then yeah, she she seems to be quite covered. You might need Lyco's help to like fully, you know. I was gonna say decant her, and it's really not the term yeah, I wanted. Yeah, yeah, um, just to gather her liquid. That was I was gonna say that was more of container. that was more of a drow queen problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Now, That's how we yeah. serve up all our villains. <laughs> Stop <laughs> drinking my villains! <laughs> what a weird campaign. It's just a fetish thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
for someone probably. Um, right. So, like, oh, I don't know, like, next, you know, you can't clear this yourself. There's too much. And you're too sore. So, you're trying to, like, uncover her while he's off ex excavating. So, if you need help, you might need Lyco. Lyco. I look round, not invariably, merely by looking. <laughs> uh, can you assist me with the, um, archaeology? What do you want that for? I want to check how she got here. Are you going to take some of it? I just want to assess. See if she's, yeah, actually her. Uh, I mean. I guess we can steal some, but I don't know if you have anything you can test it against, do you? We can certainly look into whether it's been magically affected. He shrugs, shruggily, uh, <laughs> and uh, and goes to assist. Me too. So, um, working together, you uncover what looks like all of her. Um, as I said, face is all caved in a bit like the inside of a, like a, what do you call it, quartz crystal geode thing. And within that you've got uh, all the kind of light refracting off of all the facets in there. Um, neck seems to be intact. Seems like the black glass sink kind of goes into like skin tone until like her kind of tight black uniform that's all kind of covered in, you know, dust and debris and whatnot. Um, weirdly, doesn't look burned at all. This looks like she was hit more like with a truck than with a plasma cannon, which is the really odd thing. Or with a cafe, maybe? Right. <laughs> so, the plasma burns that are everywhere else. That doesn't look like this is what happened to her. Um, arm all smashed in and broken. Um, as I said, goes into like glass shards. Legs are kind of like all buckled and twisted under like big bits of debris. Once you lift it all off, they start to like shake. Is there anything biological to her? Um, like from the neck down, it looks like or mm -hmm. almost like above, like where like the breast of her would be all kind of like skin, as if mm -hmm. the black glass from the neck and the face go into skin. And it all starts oh. to like kind of shake and vibrate and slowly clink together. Uh. Clink, clink. When you say looks like skin, does it look like skin? Or, <laughs> you know, is it skin? Would we be able to tell, for instance, touching it? That, oh yeah, that's a that's a dead body. Touch it. I don't want to. <laughs> Now that you said that. <laughs> well, you said, could we tell by touching it? I'm like, I don't know. You'd need to touch you it. You know what? To Lyco tell. wouldn't be that squeamish. Fuck it. Lyco, Lyco will. What, 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 right, what kind of position are we Are, are we literally like, trying to drag a body out from under a fucking boulder? You're probably trying to like help prop up Ceiling the boulder. bits of the, the cafe so it doesn't all collapse in um, on her body again. Like, since she seems to be the foc focal point. So well, in that if, case, you, if you want to like prop up the really doing the, that right now, but like you could prop up the debris and lean over, and if you wanted to do your totally scientific investigation and touch her in the skin bits, then you can. If you want to try and see, like, does this feel like skin? Does it not? What's the thoughts? Um, I don't think you're going to do that uh, while you still propping things up. But sorry, continue. I was just going to say, I'm willing to let you do it. I will nobly stand aside. Um, clink, 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 clink as well, as things are rebuilding. Uh, mm. Should should we actually re remove her? 
I don't think she'll be pleased to see us once she's finished unshattering. The arm's almost fully rebuilt. Perhaps we should put this back down. <laughs> uh, I just let the bit that I've been holding up drop on top of her. Yeah, I think it's probably a bit like above her leg or something, right? The one that smashed her legs up and it <laughs> falls again and you hear like a glass crack noise. Um, as that like happens as well, like you hear the like the scraping of the metal, uh, like metal, the glass arm scraping across the metal of the diner debris as it snaps into the shoulder. Um, in the dark, you can start to see that the black glass is getting less reflective on the arm, at least. Yeah, there's no one to save in here. Here's the plan. We're going to go out there and tell them that the uh, whatever did this to the diner is inside. And is slowly rebuilding itself. Yeah. Sure. You're <laughs> you're pretty convincing. You can tell them. Uh, mm. <laughs> Pulls out broken data pad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bluffy, <laughs> Senior Bluff, <laughs> Liebot two thousand. Yes, <laughs> it's the Raspberry Lie. Um, uh, Zig, outside. Yeah. I don't know. A Vesk troop transport stops um, halfway through the police tape. A big armored door smacks open, smacks onto the ground, and a bunch of Vesk troopers walk out. Oh dear. Um, uh, are they like heading towards? Yeah, they're like maybe like twenty feet away at the most. Um, does it look like they're heading towards us, or more specifically the diner? You, you are between them and the diner. Um, would I be able to kind of like move me and Alice sort of out of their path? What's your strength? Oh shit. <laughs> Um, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. My strength is total eight. No. <laughs> not, not without it looking like you're just slowly trying to drag huge metal block across the floor, yeah. very slowly, away um, from an exploded diner. Well, I think. Um, You've I probably got the. Just you've got the wait yeah, I was gonna say you've got the equivalent of like one action if you wanted to do something really. No, I think I think Zig's just gonna wait um, with Alice. Yeah. Okay. Doing nothing to Alice in that time when you said I'm here to help you, and then just pats her on the shoulder. Um, I don't know what I can do to help other than what I've already done. Um, I don't know. Well, my well, my ten minute. I don't have ten minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just trying to like reassure Alice, make sure she's like comfortable as she can be. I guess in the sort of. Uh, yeah. Like you've probably got, if you'd started the ten minute thing, you've maybe got you could have been five minutes through it, if you're willing to try and explain, what the fuck you're doing, to two, two or three Vesk people. You know. Uh huh. Um, I think he probably would have like the first thing he would have been doing is trying to do some sort of heal. Um, you know. So. Yeah. So what you got? Um, where shall I bop my my? Where is it? I can't actually find it. In my my sheet. I'm trying to heal Alice, and you're not even looking at your sheet. To see what you can I'm do looking to at my sheet, I just can't find it. Shocking. <laughs> Healing touch, there we go. Um blam. I'll stick that in there. It takes uh, it takes ten minutes, yeah. So have you already done this to her? Or did uh, you use I've not done to her, no. I used uh, my I used my spell, Mystic Heal. Okay, or Mystic okay. Cure, whatever it's called. I guess Mystic Cure, yeah. So, yeah, I think, um, how does this look? Like, describe it to me. It, it's, um, it's kind of like, you know in Star Trek when they're holding the little things over them and they're scanning, like, 
stuff in the med bay. It's going wah 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 mm -hmm. wah wah wah. It's like that, but with his hands. Okay. Um. And it was just like it's kind of like a dull swell of light from his palms. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like. And while that's happening, he's just kind of, you know, trying to reassure Alice and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, what do you need to think about to be able to heal someone this way? I think it's um. Uh, I think what he does, he kind of like goes that sort of image of the sun, and it's kind of almost a like half meditative state. You know, when you're kind of in between awake and asleep, you where you can still kind of respond to people, but you can't do anything really. Okay, yeah. Like a kind of meditative state. Yeah. Okay. Almost like um, just before you start lucid dreaming. That sort of um, feeling for anyone who... Yeah. You've done that. Um, yeah, I think you've got um, very strong, loud, authoritative voices that start to like invade in the um, process. Can I give me like a will save to see if we can maintain concentration? Yar. I need to stop saying yar. It's doing my head in. Yar. You don't need to. Yar. You, you should. Yeah. You don't. <laughs> okay. So you get interrupted. Breaks your concentration. Yeah. And um, it's as I said, <clears throat> three Vesk soldiers standing around you. One of them's kind of crouched down a little bit, like to look mm -hmm. over Alice. Alice is kind of just staring between it and you as you've kind of zoned out on her. Yeah. I mean, it's maybe like when you, um, like, kind of come to and your hands then it stop glowing. You hear Alice being like, Zig, if you could really maybe explain what you're doing to the nice Vesk man. Um, I would just kind of turn and look at him and kind of take a second for him to kind of adjust. Yeah, maybe like you look up and he comes into focus and you realize he's only like a foot away from you, right? Yeah, I think it's kind of taken aback slightly with this, you know, giant Vesk being in front of him. Yeah, and they're, you're flanked like either side by another two. Um, uh, um, yes, uh, I was just, um, attempting to, uh, heal my friend here who's, who's in a lot of pain. Sir, ma'am, sir. Kind of looks down at Alice. Like the nostrils flare up a bit and then looks back at you. What happened here? Well, as far as I know, there was there was a big bang, big boom. Um, I was like over there and he kind of points down the path somewhere from the direction he came. I think the two um, soldiers at either side, you hear like their weapons, like pulse to life when you move your hands. Uh, and then Zig kind of just like lower his hand really slowly. And like the um, the vest is like, no need to get upset. Um, yeah, so there was, there was a big bang and um, I came down this way because I heard the noise and I was wondering what it was and I saw the diner was collapsed. Um, and I thought maybe there'd be people inside. So I went in and I find this person. I think there's still people inside um, and helping other people out. And I just thought I could do what I could to help there. Why are you wearing a hard hat? Are you I'm in construction? Uh, no, sir. I just I thought it would be safer to wear it inside a crumbling building. Plus, there's a light on it and we turn the light on. Or off, on and off. Where did you get this? If you were innocently nearby, it was literally lying on the ground. His eyes narrow, and then he stands up, and then he just speaks in Vesk to the two that are next to him. Do you speak Vesk? Zig? I'm going to check that. <laughs> Rats, no, I don't. <laughs> Probably something I should have learned, but oh well. Yeah, let me know if you resist being manhandled by Vesk. 
Um, I don't think he would see much point in resisting being manhandled by Vesk. Um, he might wriggle a little bit, like, you know, when you pick up a cat that doesn't want to mm. be picked up, but I don't think it would be in any sort of... Yeah, you're put into the... Um, way. You're put into the, the APC, essentially. Okay. And, yeah. yeah, and then they move Alice into the APC as well. Um, so she's kind of sat in some kind of weird, like, stretcher equivalent. Um, right, right next to you. An APC, and there's obviously a Vesk guard within there as well. Um, now, I'm assuming you're not armed in any way, because if you were, you would be disarmed. No, I'm not armed. Unless you count a flare. I mean... As an armament. Depends where it is, I guess. Um, I think it's in my bag. But yeah, like... You've kind of just been like held for questioning, a bit more physically held than them um, implied. Uh -huh. um, and I think by this point, I assume you two are leaving the tunnel. At this point, for Lyco and Nix. Yes. I was speaking. You <laughs> 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 were both muted. Um, right, yeah, yes. so I think you just head out and you see like Alice being put into this APC and Zig, like, maybe already scrambling in the APC as well. Um, and there's some Vesk staring at you, two of which are fully, like, very well armed. And one of them's standing there. I honestly thought you were going to say, like, oh, that's not Zora. <laughs> 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 So, do you want me to do the talking here? And then you. Um, I mean, I think given you were the one who's actually there, maybe. Well, mm. he's, so as he's both kind of emerged and he's are kind of standing, looking at each other, I guess. Um, the soldiers are pointing guns at you, and they're like, "Can you offer an explanation?" To this and like he unclasps his hands and gestures to the debris. Yes, officer, there's a bomb inside. It's remaking itself. He looks like he has the most raised ocular ridge you have <laughs> ever seen. Like, I'm surprised Zora doesn't have to move about in the spaceship in orbit, that's how raised it is. I know. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> if you let me show you on my data pad. Do we need to create an evacuation <laughs> zone? And he like quickly like barks things in Vesk to the uh, to some of the other officers near the APC, and then they kind of back up the APC a bit. Um, and ah, you speak Vesk. Very good. So do I. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, like, mostly it's just saying, you know, create an evacuation zone around the, you know, the diner if there's a bomb. Um, and then uh, you say that in Vesk to him. I'll turn around to you. And he says, ah, someone civilized. What is the blast radius of this bomb? Please, quickly. According to my sources on Conspiracy Craig, it's about two kilometers. <laughs> So we should leave. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that bluff. Yes. <laughs> Bloof. That's a four. Right. That okay. Work. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I think there's a plus two to that for being an android. Yeah, because it does work both ways. You're hard to read. Um, yes. Cool. I'm just gonna roll a d20. Right. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just, I'll just roll one. Right. Look at that, it's fine, right? <laughs> Holy oh my god. <laughs> so, let's, let's just narrate this, right? He narrows his eyes, and he says to one of the officers next to you to take you into custody, just for your own safety, and he gestures to your other friend, Lyco, as well. Um, oh no. And then... So, do you speak Vesk? I think you do as well, don't you, Like I think I do. Let me just I think you do. double check that because it's funnier if you don't. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Good. Right, so it's not as funny. Um, you hear this exchange, um, and the orders are given to take both of you into custody for additional questioning and your safety, given the two kilometer blast range that you <laughs> won't disregard out of hand. <laughs> this, but yes. the fact that you mentioned Conspiracy Craig isn't great. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, considering you will be the second person in battle armor he is taking out of a diner in a public square that has blown up, <laughs> and you're talking this, about conspiracy websites. <laughs> this is my Sunday best. Yep. <laughs> um, user escorted, unless user resisting, into the APC. Uh, I am not resisting. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. No, I'm not resisting. I think I actually could be useful. Away. Yeah, and then like you are kind of piled into the APC, and you see like um, Zig is there, and Alice is like there in the stretcher, and like Alice just does that thing where she waves with her hand down by like her side, and she just kind of lifts her hand up a little bit and kind of waves as you get put into the APC. Um, doors shut over. You're in like a sealed compartment at the back of it, and then it um, you can kind of feel like the hover kind of pad in the the bottom hum to life, and then it just like clearly is backing up. Um, so yeah, I think we fit out on you guys there, and we go all the way up, back into space, with Zora looking into a kind of like a big, you're in like a big hangar bay, um, on like a kind of railing, uh, midway up, looking out over onto um, a bunch of ships docked within the uh, Vesk battleship that you're in. Um, yeah. By the way, my voice connection is only one bar. You're so. fine. You're fine for now. Um, so yeah. Zora. Yes. Yes. Um, Matva is um, standing next to you. Uh, and she's saying... She kind of like points at the ship over there. She's like... Is that good enough? I would nod. I would say, like, you know this to be like a kind of, you know, Vesk equivalent of a war version of the 11th hour. There you go. Okay. And we have obviously discussed off enough. off camera what you're getting. Um, but yeah. So, she says that and she says, do you require a crew? Or do you have that covered also? Because that would cause extra complications. If I were to supply staff, I feel like it would be best that you keep your distance from us as much as possible. The uh, war vessel here's good enough, I think. She shakes her head. No, no, not war vessel. Reconnaissance ship. I would just. Side smart. Um, this, this is one of the uh, Obsidian Star's humble diplomatic transports, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's been a side smock. That would be. That would be. Don't feel like I'd have to see it. Knows that. And then she kind of just like starts to kind of walk away, and then she hear like the thud, thud, thud on the kind of metal, kind of. I guess scaffoldings worth of um, framework that goes all around the the hangar bay, and she kind of stops a bit and kind of leans, like leans on the fence and looks down and looks back up, and then she uh, turns her back and shouts over to you. She's like, "Luck is for the weak." Nods once and then just excuses herself through like a a swooshy door. Would also probably snag at that as well, because. Yeah, I'm not lucky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, h how true to be a Vesk kind of uh, sentiment though, right? Luck is for the weak. So. Yeah. I may as well just like, make up for it with fire resistance. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, everything to do with fire, just keep away from me, please. Like, everything. Oh, 100%. Um, so yeah, what's uh, ours... Um, plan now? I would head towards the ship and then think to myself, hmm, how am I going to fly this back by myself? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Give me a culture or profession role. Uh, let me see here. Right. Uh, this is the rule. I am right now. Uh, bike. Oh, the wrong buttons. Okay, profession role. But 
And um, maybe that thought does cross your mind when you're obviously looking at it going, I'm not really a pilot, you know? Mm. And then you, as you see, obviously, you're, you're getting closer and you're like maybe walking down all the gangplanks and whatnot to get around to the um, the actual kind of hatch to get into the ship. They're like Vesk engineers fluttering around doing their thing. You um, notice doesn't land. It doesn't what, sorry? It doesn't land. Oh. This, this type of ship stays in orbit. Eh, uh, that's great, isn't it? Um, okay, bear with me one voice. second. Welcome to the intermission. I've returned. Also, don't get alarmed at the turn order appearing. That was crazy. It's fine. <laughs> As Zora just attacks the ship. Didn't appear for me. I don't think. So, it would have if you were still staring at the screen. You just saw it pop up and vanish because I closed it there. I don't know I mentioned that. The, um,. Yeah, so the realization is this is an or like an orbital ship. This stays in orbit and jumps between systems, and yeah, they even fancy dandy drop pods on it. I mean, not with the rule you got. God. I mean, it might have. I mean, not that I know of. This yeah. Is, you mean, right, cool, cool. <laughs> but not with the rule you got, so you don't know. This might be s like a slightly newer, like model. Than the ones you're used to. Maybe what, the what? Do what? Do what? You said there was engineers. Mm -hmm. They pull rank. <laughs> Who <are> they? <laughs> Engineer. Yeah, and I mean, I guess one of them like does that thing where he looks up, puts down the nonchalant cargo crate, and um, does that thing where he thumbs at his chest and looks over his shoulders, and like thumbs at himself as if he's talking about me. Yes, yes, I would wave them over. And then a. Uh, Give me the specs on this ship. Look. Um, I need to make a roll here. Give me a second. I'm sorry if I rushed it for you. <laughs> it's okay. No. Uh, who are you? Well, I'm the best. And then their eyes kind of like narrow a bit. Like to themselves, as if thinking, "Do I know who that is?" And then their eyes go wide and go, "Of course!" And then they kind of punch both your shoulders. Okay, this is when I absolutely feel the punch. I did that. <laughs> cool. Uh, athletics, I guess. Yeah, yeah sure. Nice. So yeah, they're suitably impressed. Um, and then uh, they like lead into their overalls, pull out data pad, like slide it open because it's like a data rod that you pull the strip out of, and then it's got the the display on there, a bit like a scroll, and then you start like just babbling about the tech specs of the ship, um, stuff like what the fuel efficiency is, um, average, what's you know. The point, what's the point? How do I get on the planet with a ship? Oh, it's fitted with diplomatic shuttles. Fantastic. Are they easy to pilot? I mean, if you get a link to the landing site navigation computer, they could autopilot. All I need to know. Did they get this thing in orbit? <laughs> 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 uh, 
um, and it kind of just kind of like motions, like kind of vaguely at it. It's like you would need command authorization from kind of like gestures over your shoulder, the event horizon. I would not yep, got that. Yep. Then you should be able to just go on the ship. And it seems a bit like, I don't know, a real sense motive on this guy, or you would not care. Oh, it's not terrible. We'll just see how not terrible it is. Yeah, it's not terrible. And um he's kind of just... He looks like he doesn't want to be telling you this, right? He looks like he's, he regrets having started the conversation. Mm. Like, it seemed like, oh yeah, you're at the abyss. I'll, I'll, of course I'll tell you. And as it's kind of went on, he started to be like offering less and less information freely. Okay. As if he's. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Are you actually saying that to him? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm probably older than them, right? Right? Probably. Um, what age is Zora? I'm like. I was like 40 odd. Pretty sure I'm like 46 now, but at the time skip. And stuff like 46, 47 or so. Let's see. Let's um, see. let's see. Yep. <laughs> You're older. I just like put my arm on his shoulder, you know, like, listen, mm -hmm. son. I just tell it, so he goes, sir? Can't tell you why I'm getting this ship. This is my ship now. Need to no basis. You understand? Kind of just like that kind of looking between the hand on his shoulder, looking back at you, that kind of shaky nod. Diplomacy. Diplomacy, Jacob. <laughs> and then he kind of just nods slowly and he says, for the Viscario? Like kind of shakily. I would obviously smile and just go for the Viscario. For the whole Viscario. <laughs> And then, maybe that's the shot we've got, is like, you know, as you like, use your grip on his shoulder to pull past him. Maybe that's the line where you say for the Viscarian back to him, and as you push past him and start walking up the ramp towards the ship entrance, maybe that's what you say, the whole Viscarium. That's quite a cool shot. So I think maybe we click to you inside the ship. Where'd you go first? Cockpit? Cargo Cockpit. bay? Drop pod bay? What's the what's the thoughts? Where are you, where are you looking for? Cool. The so cockpit. Yeah, and um see where I've got it all in most of the time, you know. <laughs> like <laughs> Yep, and as is typical with all Vesk ships as of this second, the um there's a big platform that's at the back near the, the middle of the ship that the commander stands on and barks orders to everyone beneath him. Um mm -hmm. all the other stations are situated, all the main stations are situated in a kind of semicircle in front of that, lower down. And in front of that is another kind of like viewing platform with a big huge holographic display that projects the window outside. Um, and you're on the bridge. Okay. Um, it took a wee while to get to the bridge, but yeah. Um, you're in there. What do you do? That whole common for clearance thing, you know? Yeah, so like you go to the computer console, or if you bring up like holographic displays around the commander's post, um, it asks for your command authorization. This is the abyss. Request and permission to leave. And then the computer uh, switches its kind of interface to what seems to be the skin for the obsidian star, obviously. Um, a bit more edgy um, mm -hmm. for all the holographic displays. They'll switch to like you know black light mode or some shit. So instead of like you know bright orange and yellow holographic displays, they're all edgy dark it purple. Edge and whatnot. Yeah, it's <laughs> <Edge> like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Tons of edge lord. Look at yeah, and then um, like the windows themselves like seal up with big kind of plates. So this one actually has like uh, windows on the bridge, but they also have plates that go over them this time. Um, and yeah, like the the machine kind of boots up and says, permission granted. Do you wish to be assisted with VI interface? 
Yes. And then, <laughs> do you wish to designate a... what would be the term I'm looking for here? Enter VI designation, I think would be the term that we'd come up with. Oh my god. What is this, like, naming the ship? That's, well, I mean, it says enter VI designation. Uh... God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be for a ship name, you're just the final level, fuck it. I mean, it's, it's easy enough, it's there, right? <laughs> this name is taken. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I should have got in the game earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, it accepts the name Final Hour and then a rather large, kind of scholarly looking Vesk hologram appears in front of you. Um, it says, How may we assist you today, Captain? Bring me into the planet's orbit. And which Please? planet would that be? Is it's, uh, it's versus versus? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> 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 Just like warp jumps from where it is to Castrovel <laughs> into uh, the orbit of versus. Submitting docking clearance requests. Blah blah blah. A, a whole bunch of techno babble. Um, yeah. And then yeah, the ship slowly begins to like. Reverse out of the hangar bay. Yeah. Uh, the VI in front of you, the final hour, says, Have you designated a pilot yet, Captain? Oh. Not yet. To be decided. <laughs> DBD. <laughs> And then, as you say, throw the coin in between Alice and Ziggs and let them fight to the death. <laughs> as you say that, he kind of like starts like scratching his kind of like fesky and kind of like tendrils at the end of his chin, and then he's like, "Very concerning. The autopilot isn't quite as sophisticated as um, I would not recommend it for long-term use, Captain." Yeah. Have people who can pilot it. Just not at this moment. You kind of nods. Very good, Captain. And then kind of like turns with his hands clasped in his back and kind of looks towards the windows for no reason. Because obviously the windows are all mm -hmm. shuttered off. Yeah, yeah, they're all shuttered off. <laughs> but like the purple holograms are all there. So you can kind of see all the displays and like the. You've got like the kind of hollow map. Uh, just in front of your station that shows the the big battleship that you're actually departing from and all like the kind of runner lights and stuff as you're rolling out and eventually after some time you clear the the actual ship itself and it slowly makes its way I mean it's not really going to take long to get there because you're kind of in orbit already so yeah it just cycles around um, it asks um, Captain, we would need to submit a orbital request to versus orbital command. I'll nod and do so. Kind of um, nods and says, I'm very good, sure, Captain. I'm sure, I'm sure I know how to use a comms device. Oh no, already yeah. comes up, done. Um, and it says, we will take our position in orbit above versus. And then, that's it. He just kind of stands here and says, Will there be anything else, Captain? The uh, shuttles are equally as... Uh, hmm, accessible. <laughs> says, I could draw you a map, if that would help you, Captain. That'll be fine. I'm sure I'll find them. Would you require me to pilot them also? Um, if you could, <laughs> I would have to transfer my VI matrix to a shuttle to do so. That would entail the ship would be left unmanned, as it were, Captain. 
Uh, how about you like a? Uh, mm, it's fine, actually. I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> of course you will, Captain. Yes. You can know it's... That'll be all. You've done a good, you've done a good job today, son. Okay. No, it's for the Viscarium. For the Viscarium. And then Zora just leaves the bridge. Yes, and I would die as I'm leaving. Cool. Yep. Um, can you roll? Probably profession again for me. Okay, okay. Here we go. Stop being doing my well, the old profession. Every time I've rolled it, I've done pretty badly. Really. Well, even though it was a fairly decent start for me before. Last time. Yeah, if you really wanted to, you. If this ship is like other Vesk command ships, like Black. Eh, sorry, Obsidian Star. Um, I call them Black Star ships. Obsidian Star ships that you've been on before. Um, you can get to the shuttle bay from the bridge in seconds. Nice. Because you Good just stuff. go to the back of the bridge and you take like the emergency elevator, which is mostly just a railgun <laughs> for people. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're at your place. <laughs> um, and it's mostly so that if people have to obviously get to like fighters or drop pods or whatever and. Well, not you can just get get off the bridge because obviously important people are on the bridge, you know. So you could try and look for that if you wanted. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Or you could just walk through the corridors and get. To oh it. well, I will just do the quickest and easiest route, which I guess is rock regardless of no other route. If yeah. You know I, mean. I mean, quickest would be the tunnel of death, and. Um, I walk through the corridors to familiarise myself. Okay. That, that's yeah, okay. A good yeah. idea. That's a good. That's a, that's a good excuse for it. There we go. Cool, yep, so you get to like what just looks like a shuttle that's designed to like, you know, pick people up, drop people off. It doesn't seem armed in any way. They do seem to be like personnel transports, not armed transports. Mm -hmm. It definitely seems to be a, this is what you would do if you were shipping people around that are important, government yeah. officials and such. Um, but the, the shuttles favour armour over weapons. Yeah, the the theory is the this ship should be defending them, um, because hmm. they don't have like warp or drift drives built into them. So, think more like Firefly, I guess, right? You know, you've got the little shuttles that come off of it, and then you know click back into the Serenity ship. Um, I can dig it. Yeah. I can dig it. So, yep, you get in one of those. Sit in the cockpit. I'll call the some docking officials. Or like the. Get what I mean? <laughs> 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 you know, like uh, you know, I call the dock. I'll call for the landing clearance. You know, I'm not gonna just fly into the fucking planet. Yeah, with it cool. Clearance. Get shot so in the sky. You call him. You're in your queue, you know, you're boom, like 7,000th in the queue or some shit like that, and then eventually it whittles its way to your turn, and you get a government official that says, submit request, etc. You're requested, obviously, I know, landing, but where are you, where are you doing this through a military channel? Are you doing this through the Obsidian Star channels? What? Civilian channels? Uh, civilian, civilian. Okay. Um, so, yeah, for a docking fee, you can dock the ship on like a landing pad. Relatively near the city. Yeah, I'll pay the fee. I just did to actually kind of figure out what we actually did get paid. Um, I know I've got money though, so I'll pay the, the fee. Cool. Fairly sure we'll afford it. Yeah, the fee is like 500 credits or some shit anyway. Yeah, so. yeah I'm fairly sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, we still need to get out of your ship in your little ship and get from that ship to the planet though. These are the, the problems in front of you just now. Wait, what would you mean, sorry? So you're still in your big ship, right? Uh -huh, I'm in the big ship. Yeah, you're in your transport ship, and you're in yeah. a shuttle in the transport yeah. ship. So you need yeah, to get the shuttle get to out of the transport ship and get that shuttle to the ground. Ideally, not like Stephen would do it. The direct. I would. Uh, 
call the docking control and request uh, auto pilot procedures. <laughs> and then um, the like automated request comes back that says once you're you've broke orbit um, and this ended through whatever level of the atmosphere would make sense for this planet, um, given that it's a weird ass planet, um, the autopilot will take over. Oh god, that means I'm going to need to at least fly a wee bit. Uh, I think if their autopilot could take ships out of Vesk transport ships, the Verses is scary. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we've got to try it. It's got to be hilarious. Let's do it. It's got to be funny. Let's try. Go, Captain. Pilot it <laughs> and take off. This is a terrible idea. This is an awful, awful idea. Well, I've noted for the record, I gave you the chance to have a crew. Mm -hmm. You did, but I don't want... You could literally I mean, have just have dismissed asked. them all I, on I, the planet. I, I was about to say, like, <laughs> before she left, I could have asked for them to, like, you know, at least escort me down to the planet, but you know, like, nah. It's fine. I don't think I can act until it's too late, okay? And I'm, I'm a lone Vesk against the universe. Uh, my piloting's too, okay, right? I mean, that's something, okay? Right, well, uh, let's see how this goes. Let's turn the ship on. Can we mm. pilot? No. <laughs> uh, 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 so, you do everything that you think you remember Emmeline doing once, and none of the buttons are in the same place. Can't I request that sort of like auto navigation figgy be jig to take over? <laughs> Um, so, I'll replay the conversation you had back on the bridge with Final Hour. He could only, he could only do so much, I know. So if you transfer him to the ship computer in the transport ship, like the little shuttle, then yeah, uh, he can autopilot it down for you. But it means there's nobody on the ship. Yeah. I mean, does that matter though? I don't know, it's up to you, ship. doesn't matter. It's on you. If I put it in an official dock, it should be safe enough, right? Well, I mean... Right, so... Final Hour as a ship, right? Because this is the VI you've named uh. Final Hour. <laughs> so, he is the VI of the big transport ship, the Vesk transport. He needs to move from the transport's computer to the shuttle computer, leaving nobody in the transport which is in orbit above versus. Then, he'll pilot you oh, down. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So your Power so Rangers Megazord crystal has to come out of the big Megazord and go into the new little Megazord. <laughs> Make sense? Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah I get it. So. <laughs> That's still bad, though. That's a bad thing. It's up to you. Like, what I did to work on the ship just floating. Uh, <laughs> problem solving 101, how to fly a ship into orbit when you can't fly a ship. Maybe I'll go get the engineer. I'll just be like, uh, I'll, go, I'll go back to him and I'll be like, uh, perhaps maybe some assistance <laughs> might be required. <laughs> So you're going to request from the battleship that has all the Vesk people on it official clearance to dock again. Uh, oh. It's tough, isn't oh, it? Being a sneaky know, Vesk. It's still on the ship. Oh, they no, the leaves, didn't they, actually? Uh, mm. 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 Yeah, so your ship, the final hour, is above Versus I've now. got an idea. Surely my comms would be strong enough to reach the crew by now. You could just use the ship comms. Yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. Cool. I mean, they're not going to be accessible right now, damn it. What, do you want to comm them? Uh, I mean, what, what do you mean? Uh, like, what are you, like, if that is your theory, uh, like, uh, what are you going to uh, say to them? Because, I mean, well, you don't know what's happened to them. I'll probably call Nix because this is a technical problem and I need to like 
I'm maybe not actually, maybe like Zig actually, because like, he can fly. It's one in the same. Alice. Yeah, yeah, we'll call first, right? Cool. So, <laughs> so can, no, no, can you roll sleight of hand for me, Nyx? Or Ooh. whatever this, the thing is called. Sleight of hand, that'd be the one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm forgetting he's got fucking six. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a, a Vesk accented intergalactic basic that comes back over the com saying who is this is it a zeg is, is that a vesk it's a vesk accent it's sort of the abyss the order and who's this and they said that's classified if you're truly the abyss submit your clearance code i would give them my clearance code I have that. I'm sure it was that like my old designation or something. Yeah, it's be? basically like that... the equivalent of like your badge uh, number, right? Uh, FN0962. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go, keep this comm channel open, please. And then uh, I see I've said please twice now. I don't think there's a word please in Vesk, quite frankly. Um, so yeah. That happens anyway, and then like a couple of moments pass, and then I said, "The abyss. How may we assist you? These comms belong to suspicious individuals near a bombing." Do you mean my crew? And then they they go quiet on the comm, and I go. Do you count an android that goes by the designation Nix5 to be part of your crew? Absolutely. Valuable asset, in fact. Then yes, they are in fact one of the prime suspects of a civilian bombing site on Versus. We are acting on behalf of Versus Control to investigate this matter. Are you accusing me of terrorist acts? We have reason to believe your crew are involved in a civilian bombing. No accusations have been made. And doesn't everything that happens within the Viscarium fall upon its commander? Indeed. Are you acting upon the will of the Viscarium currently, the Abyss? Not at the moment. And then the like, there's a like a data input request, so you can accept the data they're trying to send. Would accept it. Yeah, and it's just coordinates um, to land. Uh, and if we, as the audience, remember, it's the facility that Lyco dropped um, Chakos off at. The kind of like yep. steward facility. It's still like a landing bay there. It's like, please meet us there, and we can hopefully clear this matter up. Would accept the coordinates. And then, like, <laughs> they were about to square land, though. <laughs> but would you... Before I can get there, we've got technical difficulties with my shuttle. I'll need to speak with my Android associate. That would be quite impossible. All this can be cleared up once... Um, once you're debriefed by my superior, and then the comms again go quiet very abruptly. I would swear on Veskin <laughs> on something. <laughs> uh, shit. It's Alice been like she taking not, in the She's end. on a stretcher in the back of the APC as well. There. Yeah. They're all in the APC. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, you're not going to arrest people and leave them with all their stuff. <laughs> uh, or sorry, securely detain. <laughs> I'm just going to storm back to the shuttle and like, just really annoyedly start pushing buttons trying to turn on. Like, <laughs> like 
Yeah, and I think it is just that. It's just pushing things, and then maybe occasionally like, a light will come on somewhere that you didn't expect to, or like a beeping noise, and then it goes off when you push the buttons again. Um, so there's just that kind of mild frustration where maybe you push something and it just starts to like blink a little green light somewhere, and you just maybe kind of stare at it for a bit and push the button again, and it stops. I think maybe we fade out there for the break, and we'll take a wee ten minute break here. We'll come back at whatever it is ten minutes from now. Um, <laughs> we'll we'll do part yeah. two then. So I will see everybody after the break. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Um, why can't yes. I fly?